is up guys let me explain to you five reasons that I think the Samsung Galaxy S7 is better than the iPhone 7 and the first one is price typically you can find the Galaxy S7 for like half the cost of the iPhone 7 and you do get a few features that are actually better than what you get on the iPhone 7. The iPhone 7 is typically gonna run you $649, whereas I've seen the Galaxy S7 for under $500. And if you go the use route, specifically, I purchased this Galaxy S7 for about 300 bucks on refurbished, a refurbished model. This is an excellent condition, mint condition, refurbished model. So if you're not, you don't need to have the new product, then you could just go ahead that route and save half the cost over an iPhone 7. And I've seen refurbished iPhone 7s that are only like $100 cheaper. So the iPhone 7, because of the name, is going to be a lot more. So that's one reason why I think the Galaxy S7 is better than the iPhone 7. Another reason that the Galaxy S7 is better is number two is the screen. I think the screen is much better on the Galaxy S7 than what you're gonna get on the iPhone 7. It's much more punchy. The Super AMOLED colors are just gorgeous and they just pop in every way, shape, and form. And if you want to make the Galaxy S7 less saturated and more realistic, it's as simple as going into the display modes and heading over to photo mode or basic mode within the settings menu, which will make it look a lot more basic, like an iPhone 7 display. So that's number two, the screen is better than an iPhone 7. Number three is the theming engine of the Galaxy S7. You can see right here, you have the ability to theme out your smartphone. And if I go ahead and put Android N, for example, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit apply here. Let me just hit apply there, hit apply. And you can see that you are now able to just easily pick a theme and theme out your Galaxy S7 built right into the software. So there's no extra customization. You don't have to be an Android Pro to do this stuff. You just simply download the theme and Samsung will do the rest. And now you can really make your Galaxy S7 look a bit different here. You could see even the settings menu is now customized to look more like stock Android. So that's pretty cool stuff. And you have Christmas themes, holiday themes, whatever the occasion might be, you have that theming engine here for the Galaxy S7, which makes customization absolutely phenomenally easy here for the Galaxy device, which makes it better than an iPhone 7. So the next feature, which is number four, is the IP68 certification of the Samsung Galaxy S7. So the Galaxy S7 is IP68, which means that it is water proof, well, not necessarily proof, but it can be submersed in water, whereas the iPhone 7 is IP67 and is water resistant. So the Galaxy S7 can go deeper in water than the uh, iPhone 7. It's more likely to survive water damage than an iPhone 7 because an iPhone 7 is only IP67, whereas this is IP68. Both are dust resistant, but the Samsung Galaxy S7 is better at the water resistance capabilities over the iPhone 7. So that's why number four is IP68 over the iPhone 7 and that makes the Galaxy S7 a better device in my opinion. And there's no way that I could forget the expandable storage that comes on the Galaxy S7. Now, I know that the iPhone 7 has the advantage of having fast NAND storage, so storage built in to the device itself. However, the Samsung Galaxy S7 with its expandability allows you to keep taking the storage out. So there absolutely is no way that an iPhone 7 I think is better in the storage department because you can just buy a high speed micro SD card, stick it in the Galaxy S7, when you run out of storage, pull it out and just add another high speed card in there. So it's basically infinite storage here if you expand here on the Galaxy S7, whereas the iPhone 7, once you run out, you're kind of out or you gotta delete a whole bunch of stuff off of the iPhone 7 and also that storage on an iPhone 7 is gonna come at a premium over the Galaxy S7. To go for the 256 gigabyte model iPhone 7 Plus, for example, you're looking at like a thousand bucks. And you know, that's a lot for most people's price range, in my personal opinion. A lot of people do not want to spend a thousand dollars on a phone, but you better get ready because iPhone 8 is expected to push over a thousand. But regardless of that, infinite storage here basically on the Galaxy S7, except for the apps. You get 32 gigs in terms of the internal storage for apps, but that's plenty enough to install your core applications. And that's number five of why I think the Galaxy S7 is better than the iPhone 7 and that's expandable storage. 
So that is my five reasons why the Samsung Galaxy S7 is better than the iPhone 7. Now I know what a lot of people are might be watching this video are thinking, I don't like Samsung, Samsung is garbage, and that might be because you had one bad experience with Samsung, but this smartphone right here is very premium and I have had no issues with it at all. But I do have a video coming up of five reasons why the iPhone 7 is better than the Galaxy S7 later today. I don't think that either one is totally above the other. They're both great smartphones, but this is five reasons if you were wondering why you should get a Galaxy S7 over an iPhone 7. So what are your thoughts? Do you have any reasons that I did not mention in this video of why the Galaxy S7 is better than the iPhone 7? I only even listed five here. What are yours? Comment them down below in the comments section of this video. This was Nick here helping to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next one and peace.